What's going on guys? iPad OS 18.5 beta one for the developer beta is now officially released. And sometimes during Monday, we should also see the public beta have access to this as well. But along with this new update, Apple gave us more new features on the iPad side of things. So we are gonna go ahead and cover all of that. And of course, timestamp to everything will be in the description down below. So compatible devices, nothing here has changed. If your iPad can run iPad OS 18, your iPad will be fully compatible to run this latest version of iPad OS once it becomes available to everybody else. But along with this new update, we also receive beta one for the iOS 18.5, watch OS, TV OS, vision OS, even HomePod OS. And the complete list is right there on my side. So let's begin with the new features. And the first new change can be located in the mail app. When you launch the mail app, if you tap on these dots over here next to the section message, you have the ability to include contact photos as well as check mark, uncheck mark to prioritize, which I believe the prioritize notification or prioritize email address was always a feature. We just have the new like image to photo to the contact of the email. Now, if we get out of here and we hop into the photo app, in the photo app, if you scroll down and then go into your recently deleted section, you will see a new recover all section right here where you can recover all your previously deleted. But if you also tap on the trash can icon, you have the ability to delete from all devices as well. So these two are new additional tools that Apple gave us. And then if we go into your settings and go into Apple Care and Warranty, we did receive a small redesign in the warranty information. Just like our iPhone, the banner should be bigger on the iPad side of things. But as the time makes video, this section is still kind of buggy. It just gives me this something went wrong message. But some users have been reporting that new larger size banner. In addition, if you go to your Apple intelligence section, you'll notice that some of the categories down here, the font has been sized down a little bit, allowing you to allowing another row for an extra column. And then if you utilize Apple HomeKit, if you go in control center and you long hold to customize and you add a control, if we enter a home kit or just home in general, you'll see that we got given a larger widget style control. You can now add to your control center for your home kit now. And then of course you could now extend the size as well. But if we switch to like a different blank page, here we go. And we put this on the edge. You could extend it even more and include a lot more in one section like so. But other than that, that's the latest update on new features that Apple integrated for the iPad side of things. Nothing crazy, nothing out of the ordinary, of course. Of course, a massive overhaul is expected for us to wait until WWDC for iPad OS 19. Everything's supposed to be redesigned. But now you are up to date in terms of new changes and features that Apple changed for the iPad side of things. But now let's go ahead and quickly run a Geekbench score. So previously before I updated, I did run a Geekbench score and then our numbers were basically this, 3700 and 1300. And this is indeed the smaller size iPad Pro was the M4 chipset. But if we run a, geek, run a Geekbench and we let it do its thing, let me come back and let's see if there's a noticeable improvement in performance or decrease in performance. So let's let this test run real quick. There we go. So here are our official numbers, 3,700 on the single score and 13,000 in the multi-score. So we go back to our history. Let's go ahead and run. Oop, that didn't mean to do that. Go in history and let's go run the two. So the first one was iPad OS 18.4. We did actually receive a slight performance in the multi-core, but nothing crazy out of the ordinary. And warmth wise, I don't know, it doesn't feel that hot. Probably like 78, 85 degrees or so Fahrenheit. And let's take our thermos gun real quick. Yeah, about 80 degrees, 77 Fahrenheit, it looks like at most, which probably cooled down a bit, but I wouldn't be surprised this was at 80. Fahrenheit when it's running the test. No crazy throttling or anything like that. Pretty normal optimal temperature. But other than that, there you guys have it. That is everything new on iPad OS side of things for this developer beta. Again, the public beta is expected to be released sometime in Monday. So Monday, like around 10 o'clock Pacific time central is usually when Apple releases, releases uh, beta updates. And then following next week, that's when we should be seeing beta two, beta three, and then the closer we get to beta four and beta five, we have a general understanding when the official release will be available for everybody else. 
But other than that, there you guys have it. Thank you so much for watching. If you wish to watch more, there's this video over there where I cover all the new changes on the iPhone side of things. And then underneath that, it's a tips and trick video if you haven't watched it yet about Apple CarPlay. Thank you once again for watching.